before they put it in there. So they have to cut it, the tissue. So make the even, and then make push it. That's good. That's the final product. The first dentin, the build up with the implant. Come here. So make the same height of contour in between tools. I'm going to cut it in between the teeth, make more individual looking. And not much room here because the implant site. So it will be here some pink porcelain after I cut it, after first bake, I decided. So this is canine. Tiny little tiny space, but I have to match this horizontally. Okay, so this we created about this kind of the mammalon. Then this one is the premolar, which is separate. And this, the final the CD, screwy thing. So important to use the lingual as well. This frame is good. Okay, so that was very important. All right. Now you can cut it just a little bit. The brush just like that. And then the ready to apply the enamel. Alright. Now let's add with the enamel. Top layer on the dentin. I have to make the entire block in between the tools. So my goal is the individual looking, looks like more natural as possible. Give them a little moisture. Here, and do it at the start. We create the size of the tools. Okay, so I'm going to do the second build up. I'm not really worried about the Joint will be big open. Let's add a slightly dentin, or we we'll have to cut it here. Okay. Need to contour very well. Okay. Then here, don't like the triangle. Probably this area will be tissue which is pink okay and then just a little bit here too and also add a bit of lateral this is the bone you know here the lack of a bone apply this see booster so we don't have to make the even so differently is okay. Side by side. Of course we can make some here. Now we can add with the canine just like other side, which is a flat inside of one third, but just sticking out actually a little bit. Okay, so the highest point is here. Is it higher than this? That one. This. Okay, to get the good size of the tools with the Jason T is kind of a little flat. I just little leave on for a little shrinkage porcelain, just a little bit. Add with the dentin as well, so it expanded the cervical one third size of the tools. Now 
with this canine lay on the top. One of the enamel busto. Okay, then we'll be good. After this, I'm going to cut it individually. Here's what I did with the um, section it. Before fire. Because I want to open. I don't want to close it. Like this. All the way. It's okay. Okay. I'll take it out. This is one single premolar. So same thing. Cut this way. So then I can make this bigger looking. Alright, take it out and then I can first pick. Very important stage. We finalize it. Just a little bit more separation between the teeth. Then I can make the room to pink. And then further inside the test to mimic with the enamel over. in between the tools to make the good embrasure I basically I use the regular gum color but after a while after that I can apply with a light or enamel color top of that so limit it with um, implant side which is here but I have to make the more individual looking hide it the result will be better like this this okay same thing other side just slightly I'm trying to make the even compared to a patient has a tissue then maybe so, some area is a little bit more bigger some area is a little bit smaller but I keep that in mind, the hygiene so just a little bit here this is anyway tissue concept okay. after I add more, it's like here then after that I can add very tiny some here, some there, and make enamel over to make more intense enamel looking, which is like this. So just add very little, right here, and then has the more differentiation between the Jason T's, which is more natural looking. Okay, so this is tissue concept. I will add more. Uh, in between teeth and then after build up more and then I fire and then I can show you them okay so this is what it look like 23 here down regular 24 go down sorry 
So here's the down. Make with a brush. Just clean up tissue. Same as this. Okay, now almost tissue is done. And then I can make some little bit more contour top and um, ready to bake. Make the little stipulation in between teachers very sort of okay. Alright, so after fire five unit, this is what it looks like. So after Okay, so this is the finals after we polish and anodize it. Okay, and then we made the verification jigs for the doctor. So they can make sure the all the way down fit it before they put it in there. So they have to cut it, the tissue. So make it even, make push it, that's good. That's the final product. And this one is K9, premolar. It's good. K9 to K9, it's matching. Lateral to central. Premolar is bulk corridor. The color is matching, it's one and two. This is a final. Subscribe to Luke Kong's Patreon for ongoing training for dental technicians, lab owners, and aspiring lab owners, as well as education from a lab side for dentists. For just $25 a month, you can train with Luke online via live video, live chat, Q&A sessions, and ongoing dialogues on Patreon. Additionally, dentists can get valuable information from a lab side perspective on live ongoing cases that Luke Kong is presently working on in his laboratory. Subscribe today.